This is the greatest Rubik's Cube of all time, and here's why. If you've been following my YouTube channel lately, you would know that I absolutely love MoU cubes. So if you just look at my main cube history, we'll start with this. This is the RS3M 2020, the MoU Waylong WRM 2021. This is the MoU Waylong WRM 2021 Maglev. All three phenomenal cubes, except this one is old and broken, but the, the worms are, are really good. Definitely would recommend these, but I wouldn't recommend these as much as this cube. Ever since I really started taking cubing seriously back in 2020, I've really only mained MoU cubes, but this year that has all changed. This is, in my opinion, the best cube of all time, and as you might have guessed, no surprise here, it is the X-Men Tornado V3. I've been using this cube for a little bit more than a month, and the reason I haven't gotten an unboxing video out is because I lost all the footage. But practicing with this cube a lot, I'm consistently getting like five to 10 sub 10 solves a day, and sometimes even more. Like if I cube for 24 hours straight, I'd probably get 100 sub 10 solves, maybe more. I've set a goal to hit 1,000 subscribers before my birthday in October. So if you wanna help support me on this goal, please hit that subscribe button. I've been very consistently fast with this cube, and it's very fun to use. It's got naturally fast turning style, and controllable, it's very surprisingly controllable. It's not the most quiet cube in the world, but that's not really important. The only problem that causes is siblings who yell at you. The adjustment system on this thing is very nice and very easy to use. You just get something into here to open up this lever and you can turn it in certain directions. And if you wanna know the settings I use, on all cores, I have this little hole set to one and this notch over here set to four. See, if you're turning clockwise, you turn the outside numbers counterclockwise, you will change the inside numbers, see? This cube also comes with nice, easy adjustable magnets. Just need something to get into here to change them. You can push them around to whatever you want. I currently keep them on the default setting because I really never thought to mess with them and they just feel great as they are already. So you can see here, we have corner to core magnets on the end of the corners right here and inside the core. For lubrication, I'm just very basic on how I do it. My favorite lube is Lunar from Speed Cube Shop and I just apply it to the edge of the corners on the contact points. I will apply lube into here and into here on both sides, and then I'll put that in. Once the cube is fully reassembled, I'll add some key, some lube to the top of the corner pieces here and to the sides so that there's a lube on all the contact points for a very smooth and satisfying feel. One downside in my opinion is the logo on the cap in the fact that you can't remove the logo. It's not a sticker like most MoU cubes. And the problem with this is that I'm pretty sure that it's not legal for blind if you can't remove the logo. Real quick, I'm going to do a live stream to see how quickly I can get a sub 10 single. And here's gonna be our first attempt. Twelve fifteen. Twelve ninety three. Ah, thirteen ninety two. Eleven sixty one. Wow, look at that, 9.33. That only took us three minutes and five seconds. This might be the shortest live stream I've ever done. On November 10th of 2022, I set my personal best single solve of 7.88 seconds with the Worm 2021. And just a couple weeks ago at school, I tied that with the X-Men Tornado V3. But that doesn't mean I only get good solves. I think I can X-Cross this. That is most definitely not an X cross. <laughs> <laughs> the corner's flipping twisted and it's an E term. At least it was sub 20. How'd I twist the corner again, dude? What? Well. 
That's not a competition. I mean, I'm not perfect, and it's most definitely not the cube's fault. Unless it is. Why would I blame myself? No, this cube is actually phenomenal. I definitely would recommend it. It is available for about $40 on Speed Cube Shop, the Cubicle, Daily Puzzles, wherever you buy your cubes, even Amazon. I actually think I bought this on Amazon. I can't remember why. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content just like this.